How much power is it going to take to drive this D72 for about 10 hours? Let's find out. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. As I am getting ready for this year's Christmas parade that our club helps support, I am changing over this year to using the Kenwood D72 that I picked up this past summer, and it is going to drive the Digipeter that we put up about 50 feet in the air. But one thing I don't know because I haven't used this thing in that capacity yet is how much power is it going to take to run this little HT for, let's say, 10 hours? Because uh, that's roughly how long we're going to need that thing to stay on the air. So today we'll go ahead and walk through that and show you how I do that calculation to determine what size battery I'm going to need because we definitely can't rely on the battery in the HT itself. We're going to have to run this from an external battery. So let's go ahead and jump over and let me show you exactly how to calculate that. So the first thing I need to know in making this calculation is what does the radio draw on receive? So I've got the D72 hooked up here on the external battery and we're looking at the receive amperage on this meter right here. So you can see that is 0.19 amps. Uh, we'll call that 0.2 amps and I'll go ahead and just make a quick note of that, that it's 0.2 on receive. The next thing we need to know is how much does it draw when we're transmitting. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the transmit button right here and we'll see what that goes to. It looks like uh, 1.3 amps on transmit. So now that we know it's 0.2 on receive and 1.3 on transmit, we need to figure out how much this radio is going to transmit versus how much it's going to receive. For this particular application, I'm going to say that the radio is going to receive 75% of the time. So I'm just going to make a quick note there, meaning it's going to transmit 25% of the time. And this is just a number that you're going to have to figure out when you're doing these calculations. If I was going out, let's say for a parks on the air activation, I would probably assume that I was going to transmit about 50% of the time and receive 50% of the time. So that would change these numbers if I was doing a parks on the air activation. On the other hand, if I'm just doing some sort of round table, I might only be talking 10% of the time and receiving the other 90%. So adjust these percentages for your particular situation. Now, let's take that 0.2 and let's multiply it by uh, 0.75 for the 75%, and that gives us 0.15 amps for uh, receive. Now, we'll do the same thing again for the transmit. So 1.3 times 0.25 gives us 0.325. Now we simply need to add those two numbers together. So the 0.325 will say plus 0.15 equals, and we've got 0.475. We could call that half an amp per hour uh, total consumption for this radio. Now that we know our consumption rate per hour, it's simply multiplying that consumption rate by the number of hours that we intend to run this station. In my case, that's going to be 10 hours. So if I uh, talk about 10 hours and the consumption rate is half an amp per hour, I'm going to need a total of 5 amp hours. If I put in one of the Miati 8 amp hour batteries, that should be more than sufficient to take care of the power needs for the Digipeter for the entire day. Now, is it really going to transmit 25% of the time? Well, probably not. If it did transmit that much, that means it would uh, be transmitting 15 packets every single minute out of the hour. And I think that is definitely estimating on the high side, but I'd rather be on the high side than not have enough power uh, in the battery to get me through the entire day. So when you're running your calculations, you'll have to uh, make those judgment calls and decide how much you might want to oversize your system. And one of the reasons this is so important is because we put this Digipeter up on the top of a four-story parking deck for the duration of the parade. However, we only have access to that at the very beginning of the day and at the very end of the day. While the parade is actually going on, it is nearly impossible to get access 
to that parking deck. So we've got to make sure that it lasts the entire time. Now, uh, one of the things I will do in this is I'm going to put one of these What's Up meters in that DigiPeter system this year while we're running it. That way, I've got an actual use number that I can put in my notes and base my future judgments on the actual amount of battery used over the course of that 10-hour day. Now, I would encourage all of you to run this type of calculation on all of your systems, even if that's a 2-meter mobile radio, an HF radio, your laptop, your Raspberry Pi, whatever the case may be. It's good to know how much power you can expect to consume while you're in the field. And the more times you get out into the field and actually put this stuff to use, the better you're going to get at this math. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.